Hey there guys, 3D Print Dude here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add modifiers in Bamboo Studio Slicer. I repeat, I'm gonna show you how to add modifiers to your 3D print files in Bamboo Studio. Step number one is to open Bamboo Studio and what we wanna do is we need to add a file. I'm just going to add a cylinder right here. I'm gonna increase the size by maybe 300%. And then once you have your file here or your 3D print model, all you have to do is highlight it and you have to right click and then add modifier. And I'm going to add a cube and it says switch to per object setting mode to edit modifier settings. And what that means is to edit each individual model here, what you need to do is go over here to the left where it says global and we're gonna click on objects and you can see you're gonna edit each of these files or the models individually. So if I click on this one, it's the modifier that I just added. And essentially what a modifier is, is it's going to change a section of your file. You can change a section of it using a modifier. So if I wanna raise the height of this, all I have to do is click on here and then click on this and I can, I can raise it up and down if I wanna do that. I can also do the sizing. I can click on the sizing and I can do the length maybe like 40. I can do the height at 80. And again, you're just gonna have to mess around with this. It depends where exactly where you want to modify the 3D print settings on your actual file itself. So then to edit it, this section, say if I just wanted to edit it half of it, like this per se, all I'd have to do is make sure that the modifier is highlighted so click on that and then go over to the object settings and then I can click on it. See if I click on the cylinder, that's highlighted. Now the cube, that's highlighted. And then just go down. You can, um, these tabs right here, the quality, the strength, we can change the wall loops, all of the top surface patterns, all of the settings over here. And once you're done changing those settings, all you have to do is click on slice plate and then it will show you the differences. As you can see, there's no differences yet because I haven't done any modifications. To go back, click on the prepare tab again up in the left-hand corner, and then just change some of the settings. Like I can do wall loops, I could do 10 of those. Um, again, you can change all these settings how you want, and that's how you add a modifier to your 3D print file in Bamboo Studio. Hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions. I am a 3D print enthusiast, and I love hearing back from you guys. And also, please consider subscribing.